Let's edit some video in Lightroom. Hey guys, Scott Donchikowski here with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at using Lightroom to edit video. Now, um, this is not something that Lightroom was built for. Uh, just gonna put that, like clear the air a little bit here. This is something that uh, I think uh, is well beyond the capabilities of Lightroom, especially when you have a program like Photoshop or Premiere to edit video. In fact, the video that you're watching here is going to be edited in Premiere. Um, uh, just to facilitate it a little quicker. The video that was posted a couple weeks ago um, was edited entirely in Lightroom, and that's what I'm gonna show you today on how to edit video just using Lightroom. So let's get started. Um, what I've done here is I've taken, I wanted to take a bunch of clips of Iceland and uh, make a video out of them. Um, and since I use Lightroom to facilitate all of the organizing of my photos and videos, um, I wanted to use Lightroom to do it. And it is totally possible in Lightroom, however impractical. Um, so the first step is to go through and to pick all of the video clips that you wanna use, okay? So that's what I've done here. You see I've created a collection just entitled Iceland that's got all of the um, videos that I wanted to use. Um, and this is the layout of you know, the slideshow, um, you can see that it's it's a linear editor, it's in chronological order. So all you really got to do is just place the clips in the order that you want them to be. And then you're golden. Um, there are a couple weird things that I wanted to see if if they were possible. Number one, the opening um, credits or not credits, the opening kind of splash screen that rolls across the screen. It's this thing right here. I wanted that to have a specific look. I wanted it to look as you see it here. Um, and without using a program like Premiere or like Photoshop, which does do video editing to do it, I wanted to see if it was possible to do it in Lightroom. So a large portion of this video is gonna show you how to do something like this. It's pretty easy just to compose a, um, a video timeline and then export that video using the slideshow module in Lightroom. We're gonna talk about that too. So let's get that out of the way first, because that's the easiest part. All right. Um, first, uh, I just want to let you know that it is possible also to edit the videos in Lightroom. So there's two ways that you can edit a video in Lightroom. Number one is to just trim it. A lot of people don't know that you can trim the clips um, in the library module. And to do that, all you got to do is just double click on a photo or sorry, double click on one of those thumbnails of the videos. And then you're going to click this little gear icon right here. If I click that little gear, it brings up the trim window. And all you do is just take the clip and just, like it says, drag to trim. Um, there's a little caveat here. It does not display for you time code or frames per second or frames, anything like that. It's just based on seconds. So getting the clips to be exact is can be a little frustrating. Um, if you, if, if you want to be exact, this is not the way to do it, not using Lightroom. But I just want to show you that it is possible. Again, I feel like I have to put that in there as a, as a disclaimer. Okay, so now you know how to trim clips. So you can bring the clips down to whatever length you want. Um, you can also edit those clips, uh, like post-processing them, right? So first, the easiest way is to use the quick develop panel in the library module to do that. So I have the quick develop panel down here and all you can do really is what it says here, exposure, contrast, whites, blacks, and vibrance. Those are the things that you can do in the quick develop panel. You just click the buttons here and look at the image on screen that's being displayed, the, the, the frame that you want to adjust. It's gonna adjust all the frames obviously, but this is the option you have available to you. If I click the D key to go into develop or click on develop, you'll see that video is not supported in develop. Um, so there is a workaround for that. So we're going to go back to library and right next to that gear symbol here in that the video toolbar, you'll see there's a screen icon. If I click on that, you can see that it says capture frame. I'm going to click capture frame and then I'm going to open that image up in the develop module. So this is just a screen capture or a frame capture of that particular video clip and you can edit that particular uh, still, right? And then sync those changes to the video, okay? 
Uh, you can't sync everything, so it's okay. I mean, just edit the video, edit the uh, the still image like you would any other still image, and then when you're satisfied, just Command or Control click on the video as well, and then hit the sync button here, and you'll see exactly what you can sync. So you can't sync clarity or sharpening, local adjustments, noise reduction. Um, you can't sync any of the things here. Um, in fact, if I hit check all, it doesn't allow me to do anything but what you see visible here are these check boxes. So you can go ahead and you can process um, your still image with all of these if you wanted to or none of them, it's up to you, and then hit synchronize to sync those changes to the video clip. So that's how you edit or color grade, if you want to put it that way, um, your individual video clips. And you can do that with every single one of these clips if you wanted to. I've already gone ahead and done that, so we can save some time here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that um, still from our timeline or from our, well, it's a makeshift timeline in the library module. Okay, so if we go to slideshow now, I have all of those clips arranged in, in an order. And when I click on the playback button, you can see that it's going to actually now play them with the trimming and the editing and all of the things I've done to them in order and it's going to go through the entire sequence that I have arranged on the bottom of the screen. Okay, so that's pretty self explanatory, you just do that. If that's all you really wanted to do. Um, at, at that point, you would just click export video. Uh, and if you want 1080p, you can export that and you'd have yourself a nice little video of all these little clips, right that you filmed. Um, when I export slideshows, if we take a look at the right hand side here, you'll see that I have nothing enabled. Um, I just prefer um, nothing to, you know, take away from the video um, when I'm when I'm putting this kind of thing together. So the only thing I have here is zoom to fill frame, but stroke, cast shadow, guides, overlays, um, titles, all of that stuff is turned off. The only thing that I would turn on here is the music um, to have a music bed. Um, and getting the clips to sync with the music bed is going to be probably the hardest and most hair pulling part of this process because it's going to if you want the clips to, you know, come on and come off to the music, you're going to have to go back to the library, click on an individual frame and then trim the frame front trim or back trim to get it to show up in the right place with the music. So that's how you would sync the individual clips to the music. And again, I've already done that as well. And you can watch that video. It's a minute and 54 seconds. Um, it's just the previous video that's been uploaded to this channel. Okay. Um, so we'll go back to slideshow here. Uh, now, or actually, we'll go back to the grid. The the interesting thing that I wanted to do with this was this guy here, the title sequence or this this little title card here. I wanted to use Lightroom to do this. I did not want to use another program just to show that it's possible. And what I've done with this, um, the one of the last videos I uploaded on this channel was to do time lapses in Lightroom. Thank every, thank you everybody for watching that video. It's it's awesome. I've gotten a huge response from that. Um, the templates or that I that I have included with that video that you can download. Um, that is how I managed to do this. Um, you don't have to have those templates, you can make your own. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to go over to the slideshow panel. I'm going to go to my Iceland intro um, slideshow or collection rather, because that has all of the individual little uh, title cards that I have here, I wanted the Iceland thing to show up like you see here. And then I wanted to hold on the word Iceland for a couple beats. Okay. Um, now, by default, when you have still images in the slideshow, Lightroom wants to display them at one frame per second, one FPS, sorry, not one FPS. Um, yeah, one frame per second, exactly. So one frame is going to be on screen every second. That's pretty slow. Um, I wanted to do that 10 times speed. So I wanted to be at 10 frames a second in order to get that clip to look as you've seen it, um, which would be like this. Okay. So let's go back over here. And we're gonna go to this clip. So this is at 10 frames per second. This is exactly how I wanted the clip to look. So each one of these individual um, uh, titles, or, or I guess you'd call it uh, just these screens here shows up a 10th of a second. Okay. So 
here's the bad part is that you have to create this clip first, then import it into Lightroom and put it in with all of your other clips. So that's what I did. That's why there is this Iceland intro um, collection because all of this is the slideshow that ended up looking like this. I hope that makes sense, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make this now. We're gonna go back to Iceland intro and all you have to do is just open up any uh, program like Photoshop or anything like that. So I am kind of cheating. I did use Photoshop to do this part, although theoretically you could use Lightroom to do this too. I just found it a little easier and I don't really consider that cheating because I'm not actually editing the video um, that way. I'm just creating all of these cards. So I opened up a, you know, a 1080, um, 1080 by uh, 1920 um, clip um, or, or individual photo in Photoshop. I made a black background and then I had an I, an I and a C, an I, a C and an E, and then an L and then an A and then an N and then a D, right? So there's um, seven individual cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And then I wanted that to kind of hold on the screen like this for another four beats. So there's one, two, three, four extra cards that have the whole text on there. But I wanted it to be displayed at a certain frame rate. And that frame rate for me was at 10 frames per second or 10 times the speed that Lightroom normally wants you to display these, these okay? So in order to do that, what I did was in the template browser here in the slideshow module, um, you'll see that there's five templates here and those are the ones that came with the uh, slideshow or creating uh, time lapses in Lightroom video. So you can download those or you can create your own, doesn't matter how you do it. I'm just gonna take one of these, I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna say show in Explore or if you're on a Mac, show in Finder. Now that will show you where all of those templates are. They're in a time lapse folder in all of the slideshow presets. So then what I can do is I can right click on this and I can say edit with notepad, okay? So what you're looking for here in this notepad is you're looking for the speed display. So all of this stuff here, you don't ever worry about this stuff, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see at line 179, there's something called speed. So this number here is derived from one over the frames per second. So one divided by the frames per second that you're looking for. So just to confirm with you, right? If I bring a calculator over here, now this, this template is at 30 FPS. So if I take one and then divide it by 30, I get 0 0.033333333333. And that's gonna be my speed for this particular time lapse. If I want it to be 10 frames per second, well, what does that look like? Okay, so let's close this, right? We're gonna go to our 10 FPS one, right click that, show in Explore, edit with Notepad, scroll all the way down, and you'll see that the speed here is 0.01. So if I bring up my calculator again, and I say one divided by 10, I get 0.01, 10 frames per second. So one over 10 equals 0.1. And that's how I got this. So what you need to do then is you can create your own preset, right? And we'll just call it untitled template. You can go take that template, show and explore, right? We'll open it up with the notepad. We'll scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says speed and you'll see the speed is at 0.01 because it's the same as this one. If you wanted to do 20 frames per second instead of 10, and that would make the text go a little bit quicker in this context with the Iceland text that we have. So I would go back to my calculator and I would say one divided by 20 and I get 0.05. So I can change this then to right, back to 0.05, okay, and then hit save, close this here, close that, okay, and then I'll open this up one more time just to confirm, 0.05, all right, so it's good, and now I'll rename this uh, 20 FPS, and now I have a 20 FPS frame here, so what does that look like if I click the playback button here? right? It's noticeably quicker. What about 10? There we go. 
So that's how we get around that um, one frame per second um, minimum that we have by using the defaults um, in Lightroom. So I chose 10 FPS. Um, I organize it all like this. I hit export video, export it at 1080p, and then we go back to library and then you would import that clip, right? And you would put it anywhere you want um, and then drag it to where all of your other clips are. So here it ended up being. Now, the next question you might be asking is, well, okay, why do you have, you know, this little clip here that's only less than a second, right? Why do you have this individual frame that's just a JPEG? And why do you have this frame at the end that's four seconds? Well, all of that was to get the timing correct when I actually exported the video. All of it was about timing. Remember how I was telling you if you wanna get everything um, to show up or to be uh, syncing with the music, you were gonna basically be pulling your hair out. So this is all necessary to get the video that I just previously uploaded to look like that, to be right on with the music. So how do you get those black frames or the black video? Um, it's very simple. I mean, it, it's just honestly, all you do is just take your lens cap and just plug up the hole on the camera. That's basically it. Um, so you could grab about 10 or 20 seconds of just black video um, and import that into Lightroom. Now, um, you can't ha like take the clips and separate them. Um, so you would have to, you know, if you want to use more than one, what Lightroom is capable of doing is capable of making a copy. Um, it's a virtual copy. I mean, if you're familiar with virtual copies with still images, if you wanted to, you know, make a, a, a an image in color and then make another one in black and white, the same thing applies to virtual copies with video. So you can see here, this video is a copy, and this one is a copy as well, of just some black frames that I've recorded. Um, this one, you know, I copied to make it less than one second. This one I copied and made it around four seconds. So that's how you get that black video in there. Um, for the stills, it's the same thing. If we go back to the Iceland intro, um, there's a bunch of these extra one, two, three, four frames that are just still with Iceland in them. And the same thing applies there. I take the Iceland title seven JPEG and I made, you know, four copies of that. And so I could have a longer, you know, hold on the Iceland text. Um, this was the easy part in terms of all of that was just to make this Iceland clip. The hard part was getting everything to sync with the music. So it was necessary to have a clip in here um, that was just under a second. That didn't quite work. So then I added uh, another title, just the JPEG. And then at the end, I wanted it to kind of go out at a certain point with the music and hence the four second clip at the end, which doesn't look like anything. Obviously, it's just a black screen, just four seconds. Okay. So that being said, once you have everything, you know, to your liking mixed with the music, then you just click, oops, not export, you go over to slideshow, and then you hit export video. And it will export that video just like I did the last video that I uploaded to this channel. And there you have it. That's how you edit video in Lightroom. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you liked what you saw. Make comments down there. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Um, and uh, yeah, see you next time.